Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you guys about 7 Days to Die. It can be easy to think that the game may be dead, but that's actually not the case. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out why. I get comments on my videos all the time saying the game is dead or why are you playing this game it's dead? How can you still play a dead game? For a time I really started to feel that way. I even stopped playing for a while and took a short break away from it because you know, I was starting to think myself that maybe the game was dead. But after a while, I came back to it and it was still fun. Even without updates, people were still watching my videos, wanting to see more of my 7 Days to Die, you know, console journey, even though it was years out of date. But the game has a very active community on console. Even though it hasn't had an update in years, with lots of content to explore, you really can't get too bored if you're new to the game. The console community is very dedicated to this game, still putting in thousands of hours, me being one of those people. You know, some people say 7 Days to Die is dead because the fun pimps haven't updated the console version, but I don't believe that to be true. The fun, p the fun pimps are in process of the console port as we speak. Yes, it has no official update release, but it is in progress, which is promising. Even though the update could still be a year out, people will wait and a lot of people will even pay because the game is so much fun. Even in the current state on console, it keeps you coming back wanting more. There are other people who don't play the game but love watching it. Whether it's watching Glock9 talking about cornmeal or me running screaming from zombies on my 10 minute day challenge. Watching someone get mauled by a bear or puked on by a cop, people love watching 7 Days to Die. And while there is still desire for this game, whether it be on PC or console, it can't be a dead game. And that's just all there is to it. And to th think it's dead, it just, to me, doesn't make any sense. If you disagree, please comment down below letting me know your thoughts on why you believe 7 Days to Die is a dead game. Because I would love to hear them, whether they're positive or negative. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think. There's been a lot of negativity surrounding this game due to the fun pimps and them not releasing the update. But that's not entirely their fault with the situation that happened with Telltale Games. Yes, they should have gotten it out, but it's not completely their fault and they're trying to fix it even though it is taking a while. My 7 Days to Die content over the last 28 days itself has gotten over 500 hours of watch time. And I'm a very small creator with less than 1,500 subscribers. And that's 500 hours of watch time of just 7 Days to Die on console. Clearly, there's a want for this game. So, how can it be dead? That's because it's not, my friends. And if you're still here watching this right now, that means you feel the same way because you're interacting with this video and wanting to stick around to see because you know in your heart that you still love 7 Days to Die and if that's how you feel it can't be a dead game. If there are people still playing on servers, still playing on their console, still making content on 7 Days to Die, how can it be dead? It can't be. There's so much to do. Random generation worlds with endless possibilities. If you're enjoying this video like and subscribe now to help me grow so we can push more content of seven days to die out to the masses to show everyone how amazing this game is